Okay, so here is some more nested ifs for you. Here in this example, we have a marathon. Remember our marathon runners from the previous exercise? So we have all our marathon runners, and the race is a run, and we have our winners and losers, or uh, our participators. You know, everyone's a winner. Anyway, um, we've got points based on their position in the race. So here is the position that they arrived in. Now, if someone arrived in the top 10, so the first 10 people to get in, they get four points, which is going to give them gold. If they were between 11 and 30, that, that position, so from 11 to 30, they get three points. 31 to 60 gets two points. And 61 to 100, 100 being the very last person, sorry, they get one point for participation. Yay. Now, let's have a look. Let's work it out. So it's going to be an if. Yes, yes it is. Of course it is. If. So we start with our first test. First test is if. If C4, okay, C4 is the position that they came in. There it is there. So if C4 is less than or equal to 10, we're going to, we're going to cover our first 10 people, right? So if C4 is less than or equal to 10, then, there's my comma, what do I do? Well, then it's going to be four points. There we go. So there's my first part. If C4 less than or equal to 10, four points. And I'm making that four points because we're going to reference that all the time. Absolute. All right. Otherwise, next comma, let's do another test. Otherwise, if C4 is less than or equal to, and it was 31, I think, 30. 30. So if C4 is less than or equal to 30, then what do we do? Well, that is going to be three points. Absolute. Otherwise, and again, another if. If C4 is less than, do you see I'm just covering every single one. If C4 is less than or equal to 60. So I'm just kind of working my way up here. I hope you see the, the pattern, okay? 60, then it's going to be two points. Now, like I said before, we have four things here, four points, okay, or four different position areas, but we only need to test for three of them because if you've covered all three and you've ruled them out, the fourth one logically is all that's left. Make sense? So have a look. We've tested for, I'm just going to move this out of the way. We've tested between 1 and 10, done. We've tested between 11 and 30, done. We've tested between 31 and 60, done. So logically, all that's left, if they don't fit into any one of these positions, it's going to be the last one, which is H3, the one point. Absolute. And look at your brackets. Okay, so we opened one, open two, open three. So we have to close three, okay? One, two, three, all closed. Press enter. There it is. I mean, it looks fancy and complicated, but it's actually quite logical. So let's test this and see that it works. I'm going to drag this down for a few of them, all the way down to that one. And let's see. So 60 gets two points. 60, yes. 62 gets one point. Yes, they do. 81 gets one point. Here's someone with three points. They, got, they came 14th in the race. If you came 14th, you got three points. And oh, here's someone in the top two. They just made it. Number 10. Good job, Flori. Number 10, you get four points. That's a gold right there. Okay, so drag that down to the, all of them. I mean, you could just double click. Okay, I, I think I like dragging. I don't know why. So weird. But there you go. That's the first part of that. Let's use a nested if again to work out their awards. It's the same principle, all right? The same principle. So now it just depends on the number of points they have. If they have one point, it's participation. Two points get you silver. Three points, uh, sorry, two points get you bronze, not silver. Don't cheat. Three points get you silver. Four points get you gold. So let's check it out, okay? So uh, equals if, here we go. So if the number of points equals one, then they get participation. And here you can see I'm just clicking on the cells, clicking on the cells. Don't forget, I'm going to make these absolute because we're going to be dragging this down. Otherwise, and again, test it again. If the number of points is equal to two, okay, if they get two points, then they get bronze. Otherwise, if, do you see the pattern that's happening here? Otherwise, if the number of points they have is equal to three, okay, absolute, then they get silver and absolute, oh, a lot of absolutes. Otherwise, and remember, like we did before, we've tested one points, we've tested two points, we've tested three points. If they haven't got any of those, 
four is the only logical one that's left. I mean, you can test for it. You can. It will still work. But it's logic. All right. So otherwise, it's going to be there. Uh, where am I? Gold. What did I say? Gold. There we go. Uh, absolute. There we go. One, two, three. Check. Okay. So let's have a look and see if we got this right. Okay. I'm gonna double click. Copy that down. Two points gets you a bronze. Yes, it does. One point gets you a participation award. Good job, you. Gold. Four points gets you a gold. Yes, it does. All right. I just used conditional formatting just to show us the, the working out so you can see that it's working. Okay. And there you go. Nested ifs. I'll just click over there. Have a good look at that. That's a tongue twister, but it's pretty cool when you got it working.